Hi there, it's Sam from feudalstock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. And thank you for joining me in Wayback Wednesday. This is the day of the week when I recreate an old project and modernise it with current DSP and patterns. And this is the project that I'm going to be making today. And it is a tea light treat box. Now there are four tea lights in there, Ikea ones. And I made this originally in July 2014. And I have done it a couple of other times, but sort of during that period, I don't recall doing it since. Um, and the original paper I used was Lullaby and Moonlight, and the Moonlight, which is this purpley one, was a DSP stack. Um, and then I made one which was just in paper. So I'm going to make one that has got the um, it's got the cardstock and the pattern paper on. So I want to show you how to do it. So I'm going to set my measurements up so I can read them. And I've just realised I've forgotten to get some embellishments out, so I'll have to grab those now while I remember. And there we go, because I'm going to need these pretty pretty okay so the piece of cardstock you need measures seven and three quarters by five and a quarter inches which is 19.5 by 14 centimeters i'm gonna put my scoring tool out of reach okay this is melon mambo because the it's my party paper is melon mambo and it's lush well that's one of the colors in it anyway okay so with the long side at the top score it at three quarters of an inch and seven inches which is two and seventeen and a half centimeters. Flip it round so we're on the short side now, and score it at three quarters of an inch, uh, two and a quarter, three, and four and a half inches. Which in metric is I'm looking for the metric two, six, eight, and twelve centimeters. And your DSP panel, because I'm going to say that before my phone turns its screen off. The DSP panel, which I have got, I thought I, thought I hadn't got it then for a second, uh, that's one and a quarter by six inches, so three and a half by 15 centimetres. Don't worry about writing all the measurements down, I do put them all on my blog, um, and there'll be details in the description bar here. So, we're going to score all these, score all these score lines, no we're not, we're going to burnish all the score lines, and make it so it's a nice crisp box that closes up beautifully okay. so all of those so it's quite simple after that we're just going to do a little bit of snipping and trimming and oh, there's my good scissors so if you hold it in this fashion so you've got your four score lines running left to right um no, that's not what's wrong at all the four score lines going vertically we're going to cut up those four little lines but just to this horizontal line and because it's a shallow box box you need to sort of notch in a little bit into the squares because as you cut around you'll see it's square rectangle square rectangle square rectangle it's not at all it ends with squares um, but yeah so cut straight down the rectangle and into the triangle oh for goodness sake into the square I'm losing it all. I completely lost the plot today. So cut straight down the rectangle into the square. Need to go back to school to learn my shapes, don't I? <laughs> one of those days today. It's one of those days because I'm having to, I'm filming today and I was meant to be filming yesterday and um, I had a small boy off sick from school so I had to go and collect him at 11 in the morning. And then I got a call from the school again to say that my four-year-old had fallen over in the playground and bumped his head. So I had to get him. And because I had one who was poorly, um, my mum had popped in so that I could go and collect children. And I just thought I'm going to pick up the 10-year-old as well because I have to go into the same village. So, yeah, so I'm a bit thrown today. So I wasn't expecting to be filming today. And I'm all, all of a... Ugh, not had enough coffee. OK, so if I hold that out, that's how it looks. So you can see I've wedged into all of these squares. I'm going to put my DSP panel on. That's going to go over the top. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I like that. Okay, let me grab my snail. <clears throat> so I'm only putting one piece on. Um, you could if you... Oh, I'm losing my voice as well. <clears throat> uh, you could if you wanted to you could come around and do all of these panels I actually quite like that it's quite simple really okay fast fuse now we're going to put um, adhesive into all of these small tabs oh it doesn't want to start have I run out no it's there there we go 
So we're going to put a little bit of adhesive into all of these little squares, or wedged out squares because they're not exactly square shaped anymore. Oh, I've got issue today with my adhesive. I'll chewed it up. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to seal up the bottom of the box first. So this is obviously the lid, so I need to get all those four panels stuck in. So you just bend it round and line it up. That one as well. So that's the bottom. So I'll just complete the bottom of the box. So that's the bottom put together. Quickly before I close up the lid, I want to put a little sort of handy thumb helper. So I'm just using my one inch circle punch and I'm eyeballing it and I'm roughly in the middle and it's not, it's not, I'm not going halfway through. I only want a little shallow bit I don't want a full semicircle but that's enough that I you know you're not going to bend and buckle the cardstock putting you know when you're opening and closing it so okay these candles these are my IKEA candles they are very strongly vanilla scented um, and let me grab the bag so you can see which ones they are oh. that's these ones so the ones where you get a packet of 30 for about I don't know 25 pence they're dirt cheap, but these are sort of the kind of standardised IKEA candles. Um, but you'll, you know, the ones that you get from the supermarket would fit as well because they're not—they're slightly shallower than those. Um, so yeah, those would work too if you can't get to an IKEA. Obviously, I live in the UK; everything's about two hours away. Um, but I understand that there are some people in the states who are ten and a half hours from an IKEA. <gasps> How do you cope? Okay. This is the Two Tone Baker's Twine. Now, in a pack, this is part of the, the It's My Party suite as well, and you get a pack, in your pack, you get a reel of the Melon Mambo and Black. But you also get a reel of Mint Macaroon and, and Black as well. And it's they're beautiful, and they are obviously totally designed to go with this whole suite. Um, let me see if I can grab that one. So this is the other one, so mint macaroon and black, lovely, gorgeous, love them. Okay, finish off with a tiny bit of stamping. I've got cottage greetings. I liked the swirly-whirly bit of um, this sort of confetti party streamer, so I wanted the swirl that was from this one, so I pulled out thanks. Let's just grab a block. And that's my black ink. My son has been in here crafting. Um, he loves to craft and he left an early espresso ink pad open and I grabbed it this morning so I have a, an early espresso finger. But I put the black away because I thought I'm just gonna get that out of his way. Because underneath my desk, just off camera where you can't see, my desk is pretty black where he has been crafting. But he's developed some remarkable techniques. He's developed a brilliant technique with um, um, with the roller that you use to punch out um, die shapes very clever okay washi label punch and then I've got a piece of black here although I don't know that black's gonna be yeah we'll go with it let's we'll see what it looks like because I want to put that under there <laughs> the cat. actually that's all right yeah I'm gonna go with that I've just fed her and apparently it's the wrong food <laughs> she's not happy with me Yes, she's very not happy, isn't she? Okay, so that's on there, and then I'm going to put... Well, I was going to put the pink ones, but I don't think they'll be seen now, so I'm not really sure. Well, maybe I'll just go with the... Oh, we'll go with mint macaroon, why not? So these are also part of the same suite. And we'll just go colour crazy, okay? Why not? And that is so easy, and it's such a—it is a cute little gift. I mean, these make great teacher gifts. And when I was reading my original blog post that's on here, um, I've lost it. And I think I talked about it's that time of year again. I mentioned it at the beginning of the week. Lots of schools closing down for summer. So yeah, so it's ideal as a teacher gift. And I know you know, end of term is quite a way off for many of us, but easy to make. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me, and I hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.